<clears throat> How's it going, YouTube? Sitting over here in Tulsa, Oklahoma, getting unloaded at Home Depot. Got here last night. Spent the night. Um, they're hitting the trailer. I was kind of hoping they'd have me out by now because I wanted to. I got another load to go grab, and I wanted to get it early, early. Heading over to Statesville, North Carolina. Trying to get out of this dang ice storm. Came up through uh, 75 out of Dallas. Took 75 all the way up. Really wasn't bad. Weren't no accidents, no cars off the side of the road. It, the wipers were iced over. The windshield was all jacked up. Mirrors had ice on them still. Um, the trees over here got a lot of ice on them. Yeah, we spent a couple days down in Dallas at the OC. We uh, had to get some stuff taken care of on the truck. Um, Bunky wasn't working. You know, it gets, it's a little cold though for the pop. So that, and plus, I wanted that stupid thing there where the truck goes into neutral. But they said Brightline and said it's uh, it's in the program, so you can't delete it, which is stupid. You should be able to, but whatever. Um, they said they were going to turn off my uh, over idle, the idle shutdown there because it's not supposed to be on. But I ran my truck earlier, waiting to get into the dock, and uh, it comes up saying that it was going to shut off. And I was like, "Man, I just dropped four hundred dollars at that place, you know." And I don't know. I don't know. I had to have a shock replaced on the back of the sleeper. They blew out. <laughs> Um, and I walked over to the Freightliner dealership over there in Dallas, a new one. I didn't know it was there. It was right behind, uh, right beside the TA there, or behind the TA. And I picked up some new airlines. We got the rubber ones that are all meshed together. I picked those up because I've seen that a lot of people when it was ICO. I've never had a problem, but I weren't going to take any chances. I'd rather be safe than sorry. You know, they had theirs crack, and it was, uh, a driver just literally stuck right in the parking lot at the truck stop, and he couldn't move because his airline was broke. And, of course, you know, being a company driver, you know, he didn't take it upon himself just to go in and buy a new red line. You know, he had to wait for road service to come out and put a new one on, and, you know, had the whole place all jacked up for hours. So... That's one thing that people should do. You know, you should learn. Just just grab the, the line. You know, grab the new lines. They don't cost much. Get that yellow, that white pipe tape there so you can wrap the... The, um... Not what they call the friggin' um, teeth on it. So that way you, when you screw it in, it's not gonna leak. Um, the thread's there. There we go keep some tools on you and just do the job yourself. I mean, the company will reimburse you. If you're a company driver, just scan in the, the receipt of everything that you did and and then that way you're not jacking up everybody else who need, who's trying to get to work or needs fuel to get to work. You know, you, can, to, to, you know, when you're sitting in the middle of a truck stop at the entrance, you know, that kind of jacks everything all up. But, that's, that's what I would do. And of course, I got those lines. I didn't do a video because me and myself here I am talking. I don't have the proper tools. So I'm going to try to see if I can hit a Walmart or a Sears. Either pick up some Craftsman or think of Craftsman because I don't know how good Walmart's tools are on adjustables. and So we want to make sure we get it enough so that we can get it done and I'm going to wait till I get to warm weather because this the pup likes to be out when I do stuff and it's too cold right now, too icy out here they came in and salted so they got some of the stuff is melting away but still a little icy out here so that's what we're doing I tried making a video earlier. 
what to upload it and stuff in. But some reason, my GoPro, I don't know if all GoPros do it, but my GoPro, it has three different sections in it, which it was on all the time as the recording. It was a, a 40, 45 minute recording of everything that I was, I got done and everything I was getting done and the purchasing of the airlines. But it was in three different sections. So when I went to upload it, and of course I don't know how to edit yet because I ain't too smart. I need to get a laptop. That's the next thing I'm getting. So I just deleted that and said, heck with it, we'll just do this little video here. Yeah, I wasn't too happy, wasn't too impressed with that Freightliner. The sales, that person there, the people there are rude. They, they are, they're rude. They don't, they don't know much. Um, you know, I told the guy, I said, I got a Freightliner P4. Here's the VIN numbers. And he's like, what's that? I'm like, it's the, the next generation Freightliner. Well, I never heard of a P4. I don't even, I don't even think you're in the right place. It's not, it's, it can't be a Freightliner. I was like, dude, it says Freightliner right here on my VIN numbers, you know? You know, he, you know, here, here's my registration. You know, what's it say? Oh, look at that, FL. Yeah, Freightliner. You know, I mean, that's just rude. And then, you know, I dropped 300 and something dollars. And the guy hands me my paperwork and walks away. Doesn't even say, you know, hey, thank you for your business. You know, no. Let me get out of here. I got to go finish my damn break. You know, I mean, Jesus. I mean, when you spend money, you should, you know, you're a customer. You should get some kind of respect. I was going to pick up new seats um, for the driver's side. But uh, I ain't going to drop no $429 each seat for um, people who want to be rude. You know, you want to be rude to me, I'm not, I'm not going to spend any more money. So that's what I did. I just... Walked away. I just said, heck with it. I'll get somewhere else that has more of a selection anyways. I mean, they had nice seats there. I liked the seats, but they didn't have no seat covers, no cushions. Um, come on, pup. So, you know, you can't sell seats without seat covers. I mean, that's just, I don't know. It's just, I don't know how long they've been there. Maybe they just didn't have, a, have all their, everything in stock. But I know the one in, the one I went to in uh, Phoenix or Tolleson. I would like to go back there because they had a lot of selections. They had a lot of seats. I'm not looking for a $2,000 seat. There's no way. I just want to either replace the one I got now or get some nice cloth ones. Um, so that's what I want to do. This one, this one got ripped. I don't know if you can just, if they come out in pieces, if you can fix them so that you can just take the back off, because that's what got ripped was the back. Um, so I'm kind of curious if you could take just the back off and replace it. That might be a little bit cheaper. Because um, that's what I want to get done. Oh, I got Home Depot. I think they're all done with us, finally. It's been a while. Waste management's gonna run them over. Let me grab my paperwork here from the guy. He's a nice guy. They were nice people. I got in here and no, stop, stop, stop. Hey, that's it. Okay, okay, now that's it. That's it. No. Stop barking. All righty, sir. Thank you. Thank you. You have a nice one. Max, stop. Ever since, stop now. Ever since some guy at the damn fuel aisle when I was fueling up, um, he was at the door and the guy went by and he fucking slapped the side of the fucking truck. And, um... At Mad Max and stuff, now he goes, he growls at people, and he's never done that before. And I told the guy, 
I said, you see this fucking sledgehammer right here? I said, I'll pop you on top of the fucking head. I said, you ever hit the side of my truck again? I ain't like anybody else. I don't back down. You know, you, you, you're going to do something. You're going to hit the side of my truck and uh, make my dog go after you and so that you can freaking say, oh, your dog came after me. Bull, keep away from my damn truck. That's the way I look at it. But, I don't know. Like I said, I just wanted to make this quick video. Just a little update. Um, as Max is growling and I said, I gotta, I gotta get this air built up. Get it all built up and stuff so that way we can get out of here and head over to our other one and start getting over to North Carolina. Hopefully it's warm. I left 66 degrees in Dallas to come up here and woke up this morning it was 19. Can't complain because my wife will kill me because she's up in Wisconsin. That's mainly all we're doing right now. I don't know which way we're going to be heading now. Um, started at 8 o'clock. Took 2 hours and 47 minutes to get unloaded. That's not too bad, I guess. Um, so let's get this in. On the wheel calm. done and then we do the paperwork which you just have to put in a number uh, okay do that then we say we departed so that we can just even though we'll sit here for a second because we got to get the next load Gotta get that all wrote down, all the pickup information. Alrighty. So we gotta move. Oh, hold on. I have to go give. Stay. Right there. Stay. Sorry about that. I just wish I could figure out how to do the GoPro so I could take it with me and be able to be like everybody else. I know everybody's like, oh, don't be like everybody else. Be yourself. Well, I would like to be able to edit, you know, to be able to do my drive and <clears throat> not have to do the whole 10 hour on the video I want to be able to do you know a little bit and then you know to be able to edit that part out and then just go and um, put the rest of it in like anybody else does but I'm thinking that it'll probably be better to do it on a laptop I'm thinking um, thinking maybe I'm going to get with some, you know, see if maybe I can run into some people and I can go, I can go on YouTube and see if there's anything that that's out there that can I can watch the videos and get it all figured out just going to back over here to check my trailer make sure we're clean inside but yeah like I said, I just wanna wanna do this, and as soon as I get to, like I said, Sears or or Wally World, um, I was gonna go over here. I'm gonna go to Lowe's or Home Depot too. There's a couple things I wanna get. They had in Men or Menards. Menards has a couple tools on sale. They have an impact gun, um, which comes in a bag with a flashlight and a sawzall. 
Now, a lot of people are like, well, well, why would you need all that stuff? Well, me, if I need to do something, I like to be able to have the tool to do it. Because um, an impact gun would be good, you know, especially if it's if it's an Im- impact gun, but you can also use it as a drill or something like that. That'd be nice. Um, that way, we can, you know, be able to tighten the bolts up, like on the, um, like on the um, Thermal King. How I lost that bottom because I thought that they tightened the bolts up, but they didn't. So, of course, not having that. You know, tight. It, um, I lost it. So, I know we don't need the wheels all the way up, but we'll put them all the way up today. I do not like to run mine all the way down. Alright, so we're gonna shut the truck off here for a minute. Move this mic out of the way. Yeah, okay. Let's go for a walk. All right, we'll take Maxie out with us. Come on, Maxie. Hop, Daddy. Come on. All right. We're going to do this. We're going to just kind of go and look at the trailer and... Come on. Let's go. All right. So what I did is I slid the wheels. So that way I don't like them all the way back. Just makes it easier. Don't go too far, buddy. What we'll do is we'll just hit it. Go forward a little bit. I'm going to check the inside here. Oh, look at this. Seriously now. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Well, we know what this means. My buddy. All right. Well, what we're going to do now is let him go crazy for a second, and then I'm gonna put him in and grab one of my leaf blowers here because I don't understand why they have to make a trailer so dirty. Now I have two different leaf blowers here I use. All right, this right here, this right here is awesome. It's a, um, runs on a cord. And uh, this is the one I use. This is a this is a battery operated one, which is cool. Put the piece on. Boom! Black and Decker works awesome. Love it. You can see this one right here runs on a cord. I have a 150 foot cord in the truck, and I plug it in right here, and it goes all the way down and inside the trailer all the way to the end. So that we do that. Get up here and we'll grab the battery. So, what I'm gonna do, uh, find out where that, where he went. Oh, there he is. All right, come here, Pop. Come here, Maxie. Come here. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna leave Maxie in the truck. Like I said, this was just a short video. I'm gonna run to the back of the trail and get it all cleaned out, pick up all the wood and stuff. So, thank you for watching. And, and subscribing to everyone who has just subscribed um, I appreciate it um, like I said anything's possible as long as you put your heart and your mind to it alright ready alright be safe and remember keep the rubber to the ground alright bye